Hey guys, Rick for Sony's here, back in our video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a bass house drop like AC Slater did in these tracks. Great. Now we're gonna make a track from scratch. Let's start off with a vocal. So let's open up the new bass house pack and pick one from the pack. Also bump out the BPM to 132 because I wanna work in a fairly high BPM. Get the focus to the tempo and pitch it in key. I want to work in D sharp minor, so let's drag it down to semitones. Sounding like this. Go ratchet with Penelope, bottom shot, we got it. Now we're gonna mix it. Get a bit more compression. Up, we got it. Go ratchet with Penelope, bit. bottom shot, we got it. We took a shot of kerosene. And add some reverb to it. Go ratchet with Penelope, bottom shot, we got it. So we got a bass house folk already. Now we're gonna create a build up around it. So let's pick a build up loop from the pack and fit it to the tempo as well. Go ratchet with Penelope. Something like this. Shot, we got it. We took a shot of kerosene, fired up. We also got fit it out with the ambience. Fit it to the tempo as well, pitch the key. Go ratchet with Penelope, bottom shot, we got it. We took a shot of kerosene, fired up. Go ratchet with Penelope, bottom like shot, this. we got it. We took a shot. It's just dope, but I want to fill up the low end a bit more. So, add in a re space from the pack. Let's use this one. Force on the right key and mix it. So, first on distortion, sidechain, EQing, just roll off the high ends a little bit. Then create an animation clip for the sidechain and let it open up when the kick is hitting in the build up loop, giving this effect. Let's switch out the preset because it's a bit too harmonic. Let's try this one. And I want to fit it up a little bit more, so add it in this scratch sample. Just like this. Up we got it. Ratchet with Penelope. Up we got it. Ratchet with Penelope. You can also use it right here. So then the only thing I want to do is add some animations on the master channel. First of all, a low cut animation. And then a smile as well. So all together the build up sounds like this. So now we're gonna dive the drop. Let's start off with the drums. First drop in a kick. Let's use this one. Then I want to pick a drum loop from the pack. Let's use this one. Fit it to the tempo. Then I want to drop back in the scratch sound as well. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. So altogether the drums sound like this. We got it. We're gonna make it a little bit more interesting with the drum fill at the end. So just use the local animation. And drop in the crash sound. And a reverse crash. Something like this. So that's it for the drums. Now we're gonna dive in the bass line. Now we're gonna dive in the bass sounds. Let's open up a new serum. And pick a preset from the pack. Two things that AC Stater uses in his tracks is an A and a B part of the drop. So first we're gonna work on the A part. The second thing is, he uses a lot of wobble sounds and then harsh lead sounds in the second part. So let's dive in the first part. Let's set this one to a wobble synth with a macro. And dive into the MIDI. 
Starting off on the descending notes of the scale. Back to the roots. Up to the third note of the scale. Sounding like this. Which is a bit random, but now we're gonna use some filler notes to fit it up some more. So we're gonna use this kind of weird bass sound right here. Won't I say it as well? Yeah, this sounds way better already. Pretty groovy, so now we're gonna mix it. So to speed up the workflow, we're gonna roll them all to the same channel. First on distortion, they would basic mix. Just like this, and a side shape. So this will be the A part. Now we're gonna dive in the B part. So add in a new serum as well. So for the B part, we're gonna go for more of a lead sound, just like this. And just finish the melody. Really simple. And that's perfect. Run it to a new mixer channel as well. Copy over the mixing. And add some reverb and delay. Also gonna give the low cut to make room for a sub bass. Just like this. So again, add in a new serum. And go for this night bass kind of style. Label from AC Slater. It's a bit too harsh right now, so we're gonna get rid of the high ends. Got it right here. Add some compression to even out the volume levels and mix it in properly. Yeah, just like this. We got a main basses ready, so now we're gonna make it a little bit more interesting by adding a Reese fill right here. And then a new serum. We'll be using this Reese sounds. Then I'm gonna root nose. Up to the dissonance and finish on the, finish on the seventh note of the scale. Done it like this. Then mix it a bit more. Some distortion. Bit too dry right now, so add some delay to the top end of the bass. Bring up the high pass. Same for the reverb. Pretty small amounts. And bring down the low end. Also gotta tweak the preset a little bit. I want to create a slight effect, just like this. And I want to let it open up a bit more, so add in and the smell as well to it. Then mix it in for your wine. So that's it for the Reese fill. Now I want to work a bit more on the build up, so let's copy over the synth elements. And drop it right here at the second part of the build up. We're gonna run them all to bus channel. And we're gonna add a filter to it as well. Also make sure to remove this sub. I create an animation clip with a filter. Let it open, let it open up during the build up. Yeah, just like this. Also make sure to copy over the focal to the drop as well. Drop it right here. Now work on the second part of the drop. Copy it over.
That's how you make an AC Slayer drop from scratch. I think it turned out really dope. So let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Besides that, if you like the video, please drop a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next videos. Go ratchet with Penelope, bottom up, we got it. We took a shot of kerosene, fired up, we got it. Fired up, we got it.